We're going to continue the conversation about why we worry and ways to build a more helpful mind. As we have now learned, our brains are wired to search for threat and worry in order to keep us safe. So unfortunately, we can't stop the worries, but we can better manage them. Learning about how these worries impact on your functioning and performance is really important to empower you to make more choices on how to respond to these worries when you move forward. So the way you respond to these worries can either help you move towards the kind of athlete you want to be or away. So let's look at a model in psychology that explains how our thoughts influence our behaviour. We can call this the BET triangle, which stands for behaviour, emotions and thoughts. And you bet it will help you get a better insight into yourself. So let's run through an example of how this model applies to us and our behaviour. Imagine you're at a competition and you've just lost a point in the match. In response to this trigger or situation, you may have thought, I suck, I'm going to lose this match, which may lead you to feel sad, anxious and overwhelmed, resulting in your behaviour of giving up and putting in less effort. So this triangle can keep cycling through. So here the behavior is reduced effort on court, which may then reinforce that initial thought of I suck and strengthen your feelings of sadness, overwhelm and anxiety. Therefore, being aware of what your mind is saying to you and what you're feeling and how it's impacting on your behavior is really useful because the actions you take can either be moving you toward the kind of athlete you want to be or it can be moving you away. So using the same example where you've just lost a point and you stop trying so hard, do you think this would be moving you toward the kind of athlete you want to be or away? Well, for most of you, I will assume this would be moving you away from the kind of athlete you want to be. So in a challenging situation when your mind's giving you a hard time, like it's wired to do, telling you you're no good, you suck and may not be able to stop these worries, but you have a choice on how you respond to them and your actions thereafter. Most of us get hooked and caught up in these worries, which fuels really difficult emotions like sadness, anxiousness or overwhelm and often leads us to make poorer decisions. However, we can learn to notice the worry, unhook from it and take actions that move us toward the kind of athlete we want to be. So one helpful strategy to unhook from a difficult thought and break the bet cycle is to acknowledge the thoughts as just what they are, thoughts, not true facts. It may sound strange, but remember our mind is wired to catastrophize, make mountains out of molehills and give us a hard time because it's trying to keep us safe. So when you're in the middle of a competition and it's being unhelpful and telling you you suck, one thing you can do to kind of help lessen the power it has over you is to say, thanks mind, that's really helpful. That's really important for me to know right now in the middle of this competition. Then refocus your attention back to what is within your control, which may be the effort you put into the next point, the adjustments you make, or the strategy you change to best challenge your opponent. In the following videos, I will continue to explain why we worry how the worry impacts our performance and what we can do to better manage it.